So every automation for Jira rule kicks off with a trigger, and this one is no exception. In this case, we're going to use the issue transition trigger, and we could specify the status that it transitions to or from if we like, but we'll just leave it blank for our use case here. Next, what we're going to do is add a condition. So with condition, lots of options, but we're going to choose the issue fields condition. It's the easiest one, but super powerful as well. So what we're going to do is select the field that we're going to be looking out for, which is issue type, and make sure that it equals subtask. So basically what we've done with these first two building blocks, it says anytime a subtask has been transitioned. Completely customizable. So we'll save that and we'll move on. Now, as you know, very few issues in Jira exist in isolation, which is why we have our branch rules slash related issues. What this does is it allows us to work across related issues. So everything from epics, stories, subtasks, parents, uh, most recent created issue. But for our case here, what we're going to do is work on the parents. So that's the parent of the subtask. Now you can restrict it to just one project or a multi-project, or you can make it global. That's totally up to you. But we'll save it in this case and what we'll do is we'll add a condition again under the branch so this time instead of using the issue fields condition we're going to use the related issues condition so that means that anytime we go in there we're going to have a look for any subtasks that exactly match the jql that i specify so there's lots of different ways of doing this but this is the easiest way so anytime the subtasks of the parents match the status done. And we can even validate that query. So I know it's a pretty simple piece of JQL, but often it can get much deeper. So it's quite a handy little tool. Um, now we can save that and move on to the very last part of the rule, which is always going to be your action. So again, lots of options with your action, but in this case, we're just gonna choose transition the action. So the trigger was issue transitioned and the action is gonna be transition the issue because that's exactly what we're doing is keeping the parent and the subtasks in sync. So you could choose to say copy from the trigger issue, or you could select the status that you wanted to move to, which is done. Um, either way is perfectly fine. So we'll save that rule. So that's all it is, five building blocks. And now all we need to do is name the rule, which I'll do there, and turn it on. And then because we're in Australia and the internet is pretty much third world, we'll hang on while that updates. Anywhere else in the world should take a millisecond. So now that we've built the rule, the next step is to go into Jira and see how it actually works in the real world. So this is a subtask I prepared earlier. It has a parent. So what I'm gonna do in this subtask is simply change that status and test out our new rule. So at the moment it's in to do, and what I'll do is simply change it to done. So you can see that little pop-up in the top, top right-hand corner that another issue, which is what 93 has been updated, that's the parent. And again, pop-up here says, hey, something's happened, an automation for Jira rule has run. And if we just refresh the page in cloud, it'll change as well. So it's no longer gonna be to do, it's gonna be done, which means both parent and subtasks remain in sync. Nice and easy, nice and clean, no manual work needed, simple rule one you should really get going with immediately.